So I'm pleased to say that we finally had our first uh, shakedown trip with the El Grand photography slash camper slash adventure van. And uh, it was, I would say, a resounding success. We had great weather. Uh, the van was comfortable to sleep in. It was easy to convert into uh, sleeping quarters and very easy to convert back to seating arrangement. Uh, there was one floor with the uh, sleeping arrangement where where the top section of the bed meets with the uh, second row of seats, there is a change in density from the foam because the foam on the back uh, bench seats and the table are different to those on the seats. The seats are a lot firmer. I was hoping that I could mitigate that with the inflatable pillows, but they tend to move around in the night and getting them just right is very, very difficult. However, when I got back, I sat down with a pen and paper and I came up with what I think is going to be a workable solution that makes this a lot more comfortable. I'm basically going to extend the benches and the table by about 40 centimetres. And I'm going to do that in such a way that it's easily collapsible and can be stored out of the way under the table when it's um, when the van is being used in a seating configuration. Uh, and that will mean that rather than the seats being reclined all the way, they will be rotated around 180 degrees because you can swivel them around. And it will only be the seat squab on the second row seats, which is used to basically rest our feet and our calves, uh, the lower part of our legs. So I think that's going to be a lot more comfortable. Oh, Dad. Big boy. Spin one. Go. A lot of things have to go right for a camping trip to be uh, enjoyable. You need decent weather. You don't want it to be pissing down rain. You don't want it to be 40 degrees. Um, the weather was mid 20s, so it was perfect. There wasn't a puff of wind. We had a lovely fire. Sat around there till about 10.30 at night and watched the, the full moon rise, which was lovely. Uh, we were camped by a river. So my son was able to throw a million rocks into the river, which he always loves to do. Everything worked well. Setting up the van was quick and easy. Uh, the awning and the swing out toilet unit only took about five minutes between the two of them. Packing everything away was nice and easy. And importantly, the van performed really well off road. On the corrugated track leading up to the campsite, it was very comfortable. I took it down a particularly steep track that goes down to the river. Uh, got halfway down and then realized this might be a bit tricky getting back up without low range. So, um, Probably would have been better if I went to the bottom and then I would have had a bit of a run up to come back up. But I stopped halfway, uh, locked the center diff, put it in reverse and got back up. But I could hear that the engine was, I guess, not so much straining a bit, but you know, it was, it was testing the torque converter and the automatic transmission a bit as it pushed back up. But I think that with a little bit of a run up, steep hills like that even will be fine. So I'm really, really happy with the setup. I think that when I make this final change to the bedding arrangement, It'll take an extra two or three minutes to set up perhaps, but I think it's gonna make sleeping in the van so much more comfortable. In terms of ventilation, which is something which I was struggling to get a solution for for ages, I tried so many different ideas. I finally came up with a solution which I think is workable, where I basically uh, have an insect mesh that goes on the uh, front passenger side window, and then I crank the window down halfway and I have a small rechargeable fan in the back, uh, which will run all night on low speed, and that circulates the air throughout the cabin. And that worked really well. We didn't get any condensation. Uh, we were comfortable in terms of air quality. Um, it was really good. I think that uh, is a good workable solution. So that's what I'm gonna use from now on. Uh, storage was fine. Uh, the fold down table on the back is a real boon, that's for sure, because when you're getting things out of the back of the, the van, uh, like cooking pots and bowls and utensils and stuff, you want somewhere to lay them down. And having that fold down table made that really easy. So that was definitely good. One other thing that wasn't so good was the, uh, the, the hose that goes into the fresh water tank for feeding the, uh, the tap in the van, that curled up. And so it was kind of pointing back up again inside the tank. So I had to kind of hold that down to be able to draw water. So I'm gonna come up with a simple solution that either either put a, a stiff wire inside the bottom section of the hose, maybe just a coat hanger, something like that, uh, or strap something to it that is rigid so that it uh, it can go straight down into the uh, into the water tank. I'll come up with something um, that's not too hard to fix. Uh, other than that, really everything went really well. I'm really really happy with it, and I think that the uh, the L Grand is a fantastic solution for semi off road, light off road camping. 
uh, especially with that you know aftermarket suspension that I put on courtesy of Pettis suspension here in Australia. So overall, very happy, great solution. It was really, really nice to go away with my son and my dad again um, and to not have any dickheads camping nearby playing loud music. We had one couple that was at the other end of the area where we were camping and they were nice and quiet. And that was really nice because so often a camping experience can be ruined by a couple of dickheads making noise, playing loud music. You know, you got doof, 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 you know, into the all hours of the morning. Uh, last time I went camping with my dad and my son, we were camped at a spot that my dad and I have camped out many, many times during my childhood, and we always had the place to ourselves. This time was different, though. There was another couple there in a four-wheel drive with a rooftop tent, and they were completely quiet, kept to themselves. But then just as uh, as night fell, uh, about seven or eight young blokes and girls rocked up in their four-wheel drives and dirt bikes, started playing music straight away, and they were making noise, breaking you know branches off trees for firewood until four in the morning. Luckily for me, Tommy and I had climbed Mount Torbrick um, that afternoon and we were knackered. So we slept like logs, but my poor dad, who's 85, he didn't get to sleep till four in the morning. So that really sucked. And it pisses me off so much when you get dickheads that come out into the bush where it should be peaceful and quiet and enjoyable. And they just act like nobody else is there and make all the noise they want. I really hate that. That just ruins it. Uh, but we didn't have that. It was great. It was lovely and quiet. And uh, I can't wait to go again, hopefully within the next few weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about uh, the setup of the old grand, then uh, leave a comment below. More than happy to answer all your questions. And uh, uh, hopefully I'll see you on another camping trip, this time with some, uh, some landscape photography as well in the next few weeks. Until then, if you want to see some more videos on the old grand build, just have a look up here. And uh, hopefully I'll see you again in the next week or so. Bye for now.